Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, we'll continue our book reading this morning. The Toyota Way to Service Excellence by Jeffrey K. Laika and Karen Rose. Yes, they've looked at the system thinking for high performance organizations. Today on page 66, we'll be looking at purpose driven organizations. I'll be looking at what is purpose. Those who have been monitored by Toyota Sensei, that's a teacher, quickly get tired of the question. What is your purpose? It is easy to get bogged down in the details of your work or the details of an improvement process and lose the bigger picture while you are working on the project. What do you hope to accomplish and why? This is why defining the ideal state was included in Toyota business practices. It focuses you to define the future state's direction often called True Not at Toyota. Machine thinkers routinely lose sight of the bigger picture. Costs and effects are assumed to be simple and linear. I do this because I want this outcome on that matrix, and the matrix is usually financial. This myopic mindset is actually the root cause of many field improvement programs. Tom Jones, an accounting professor, system thinker, and student of the Toyota Way, calls machinistic, mechanistic thinking the linear dilemma. In the mechanistic view, financial results are a linear additive sum of independent contribution from different parts of the business. In other words, managers believe that reducing an operation's annual cost by $1 million simply requires them to manipulate parts of the business that generates spending in the amount of $1 million each year. Say, by reducing employee compensation, or payments to suppliers. Reducing spending does not improve anything. Try to improve the quality of your life by reducing spending. You may reduce some stress of meeting your budget, but nothing in your life will change for the better. And cutting out something important to your health, say annual health exams, may significantly harm your life in long term. To improve something, we have to make it better, and particularly in the complex world of service organization that requires direct interaction with customers. This almost always involves generating new ideas and changing the way people think and act to put the new processes into practice. Thus, Johnson argued that viewing organizations as living systems provides a completely different sense of purpose and is the only path to sustain improvement. We are, managers, we are managers to assume, however, that the financial performance of business operation results from a pattern of relationship among a community of interrelated parts. Their approach to reducing costs could be entirely different. In that case, managers might attempt to reduce costs by improving the system of relationship that determines how the business consumes resources to meet customers' requirements. Viewing current operations through the lens of this vision will enable everyone in the organization to see the direction that change must take to move operations closer to that vision. As one expert from a rogue, from a rogue system thinking, accounting professor Johnson identifies prevailing management control system as the leading cause of the common narrow-minded mechanistic mindset. It causes managers to mechanically chase financial targets 
without nurturing the underlying system of relationship. Karen and I experience this routinely in trying to advise our clients. Even after we <coughs> led them through exercises in which they concluded that their processes are broken and their people disengaged, they still ask, what is the return on investment of Lind? Can you take me to benchmark an organization like mine that has gone lean and where can I see the results? We went to grab them by the shoulders, stare them in the eye and shout, you just mapped your value stream, you led the exercise, you saw 10 times as much waste as value added, your customers are screaming for better quality and more timely services, we identified a great future vision and you're asking about return on investment. Clearly, shouting at somebody will be counterproductive and more likely to lead to a harassment. A harassment lawsuits then than a change in thinking. However, we did not find a way to shift thinking from short-term cost reduction and immediate return on investment to investing to achieve a long-term purpose. A purpose is more than making money. In fact, advanced lean thinking companies like Toyota sees profit as an outcome of providing superior value to customers and society. And these companies are more profitable than their competitors. Every decade, Toyota gets an executive team together to develop a global vision. This is discussed intensively and refined to build consensus. Toyota Global Vision 2020 states, Toyota will lead the way to the future of mobility, of mobility, enriching lives around the world with the safety and most responsible way of moving people. Through our commitment to quality, constant innovation and respect for the planet, we aim to exceed expectation and be rewarded with a smile. We we'll meet our challenging goals by engaging the talent and passion of people who believe there is always a better way. Toyota has extended its vision beyond automobile to mobility. This paves the way for the evaluation of the company into new markets. For example, Toyota has done a great deal of work in advanced robotics and wishes over the long term to become a more sorry a major player in the use of robots in homes and public institutions it has ro it has robots that helps move the incapacitated patients in the hospital in and out of bed and robots that sorry in and out of bed and robots that patients can operate by remote control to fetch things in the room. We learned that Toyota is committed to fostering innovation and respecting the planet. And the reward from customers is that they are happy with the product as in indicated by a smile. Akoi Toyota has hammered away on his company known for precision and reliability to appeal to the raw emotions of customers. The vision also tells us that Toyota will accomplish this through its people pursuing challenging goals and always searching for a better way. The spirit of the Toyota way. And this is where we're going to stop for our reading this morning. It said purpose driven organization. It said what is your purpose for machine thinkers? They actually don't have a purpose, or rather, they define it as they think the machine thinkers lose sight of the bigger picture. So, as a machine thinker, you will not be able to see a bigger picture. You are not able to define your purpose. But if you are a system thinker, you will view an organization as a living and breathing thing, something that grows, and you look for ways to feed it. You know, well, look for positive way to put positive things into it and work on it so that it will 
grow. So when you see an organization like as a living and breathing thing, you you will have the ideology or you will have the mindset of a system thinker. Okay? You look for ways to meet um, customers' expectation, try to make them happy, you know, try to make even those in your company or in that organization, your external and internal customer, you'll be looking for something to improve, to make life better for those around you like i said both for your external and your internal customers so that is where we'll stop for our reading this morning thank you